Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. This is your weekly oracle card guidance and we have three options this week. We have um, this option here. These are magnets, by the way, in case you're curious. We have this one here and we have this. So please go ahead, make your selection. We're using the Queen of the Moon oracle deck this week. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, what is it that you need to know for this week ahead? And this is a really tight shot, I'm aware of it. I'm just trying to keep the cards in the in the shot. But if I feel I need to take it out, I might just do that. Okay, so this feels right to me. Okay, we have the card 44, it's a number 44, and the card called Attraction, it's a super moon. Right now you're attracting all that you, you speak of. So if you have anger in you, or if you have sadness, or if you have disappointment, or any kind of emotion, whatever it is, whether it's positive or negative, whatever this emotion is, that is your current state of mind, it is that that you're going to attract into your life right now. And what, what this message is saying to me is that right now is, is really a crucial time in terms of your uh in terms of what you can attract and what you can dispel from your life so the the message that i'm hearing this is the most important thing for you right now is to be really aware of what it is that you desire and where it is that you want to go to now what i'm also seeing here is that some of you may be having some difficulty at this moment you might be going through some kind of emotional upheaval or something might have disturbed you and this message is saying, if that is the case, then put that aside for the moment. That is not what's important. Put whatever is what you can aside for the moment and focus on what it is that you desire. Because right now, whatever it is that you desire will come to bear. The other message that I'm hearing here is that don't be afraid to ask for what you truly desire. So don't think that it's impossible, that it's not going to be it's not going to be able to come to, into being or that it's not fair for you to ask for that. Ask for what it is that you truly desire because it is only that which you truly desire that you can actually have. And uh, if you, in fact, say, well, I want this, but it's not really what it is that you want. Um, if, if you are asking the universe for something which you think is appropriate or relevant or what you think is what would suit everyone else better, and, but it's not truly what you desire, then you're giving the wrong signal to the universe. And what's going to happen is that you're probably going to get something that's not either one of those things that you, one of the things that you desire, and not either one of the things that you actually ask the universe for. So this is the thing that we you need to focus on right now to make very, very clear what it is that you truly desire. Because whatever it is, whether you just simply have a thought about it, or simply uh, have a feeling about it it's what's going to come into being whether you like it or not it's going to actually be come into to you like a magnet interestingly enough it's, um yeah it's strange that i'm using a magnet here but it feels to me that this is what you are like a magnet right now whatever you are thinking is what you're going to attract into your life so dream big or decide what you want to do but decide exactly what it is that you want to do stop waiting for it uh to to come later or stop thinking that the conditions need to be right for it to happen. It has to happen now. There is no other time like right now for you to be able to create what it is that you want. So first start by stating what it is that you want. And if you have any frustration or any distrust and you are upset or you think that things should have happened a long time ago and you've kind of lost faith or you're feeling hopeless or you're feeling despair, then be aware that these, if you are going to be the embodiment of these emotions, whether you have the right to have them or not, you are still going to attract more disappointment in your life if you are going to be having the feeling of disappointment. So what you need to do is work through that. If it is that you have been through a rough time in trying to get where you want to go to or what you want, then first work with that and see how it is that you can let go of that, how it is that you can release it, how it is that you can heal it, so that you can come to a new playing ground. Uh, you know, basically wipe the slate clean and start from the beginning and forget everything that's happened until now. It's not important. 
okay, it's it, yes, it has its relevance, and yet yeah, it's relevance, and yes, it might have played a role, and it still plays a role in who you are right now. But you have the control over whether you allow it to continue to determine your future, or whether you can close the door right now to your past and start anew and actually attract what it is that you are des desiring in your life. Yeah, I just want to reiterate that because I feel like like some of you would have heard this, but you haven't really taken it into you. So it's not really helping. So I'm just going to repeat myself here one more time. If you are having difficulties that you're holding on from the past, if you have disappointment, if you have any doubt in you at all, that's going to be magnified. Okay, it's going to become your reality. So d dispel any doubt that you have and allow yourself to release those things that are holding you back and have complete faith in the future and recognize that you are a great magnet right now and you are drawing to you all that you think, all that you feel. And what you need to do is allow yourself to, to give yourself the permission to choose what it is that you desire and go ahead and get that which you desire. I also want to say that 4-4 four, four is 8. 8 is that which you create and that which you, you make, you construct to for your success. So go ahead and try to make that your possibility. Try to make that your reality and try to move on from where it is that you might have been stuck until now. All right, so that's your message for those of you who've chosen uh, this one, this magnet here. And yeah. I wish you a fabulous week ahead. I hope it goes exactly as you desire. So for those of you who have chosen this option here, we're asking, what is it that we need to know for the week ahead? Or what is it that we need to know right now? Once again, these videos are timeless, so you can always come back to them when you feel that the moment is right for you to listen to this message. Okay. Okay, we have the number 43, Blue Moon. It's interesting because the last option we had was the number 40, 44. And this is the Blue Moon and it's the card, it's card called Unex the Unexpected. So one of the things that are following on from the last card, um, which I just want to mention here, which is relevant specifically for this card, is that it's okay to give up and to release and to expect that which you do not expect. It's okay to trust in what comes right now. This is really important for you right now. It's okay to trust in what comes your way. The other message I'm hearing here is that you need to actually prepare yourself for that which is unexpected. You need to prepare yourself for that which you would never expect to, to take place in your life. So you might be going along thinking, oh, I've given up on that, or I can't have this, or I might as well just stay in this position and not do anything else, or I might as well just go along the way it is right now because it's, you know, it's going well and I can't quite, uh, why should I change it? What, what, why should I fix something that's not broken? But this card is saying to me that there's something that's going to come up if it hasn't already come up, and it's going to almost like pull the rug out from underneath your feet and you need to regroup at that point. You're going to need to decide, okay, am I going to stick with this or am I going to move on? And one of the reasons that you might need to move on is not because you have to, but because, but rather because you might not be able to live with what is going on. So you might have to move because of something like a principle, the principle of, of doing this or not doing this or the injustice of it. So I feel like there's nothing bad that's coming your way, but this is all part of having you move along. It's For me, it feels like you've been waiting or there's a period of indecisiveness that has followed this moment. And this card is talking about how it is that you're going to move ahead. And it's telling you to expect that which is unexpected to come your way, but to trust that what is, what is happening right now is actually leading you to where you need to go to. So it may not seem good when it comes it might feel like really something that's really upsetting you or something that's really shaking the ground underneath you making you feel insecure but what it's saying here is that ultimately when the pieces fall in their rightful places after the shake-up it's actually going to be where you need to be all right so that is the one message that i'm hearing here in terms of your your well-being and how to go forward. The other message here I'm hearing is that don't be afraid to ask for help and don't be afraid to lean on others. Don't be afraid to actually 
ask for help. So you might have already asked for help, but you didn't get it. And you might be despairing. You might be thinking, okay, well, you know, I've asked for help, but they've basically blatantly said no, or they've showed me in other ways that I shouldn't be asking, I shouldn't be leaning. Well, in that case, you're leaning in the wrong place. All right. Lean on the universe. The universe is not going to let you down. Ask the universe or your God, whoever you, you pray to or whatever you believe in, to give you that which what you need to support you in this moment, whether it be people or may, whatever it is that you need, may it function for you. And do this little prayer and ask for it and be open to it, what comes your way thereafter. You don't need to sacrifice anything. You don't need to feel bad when this help has been given to you. You don't need to feel bad inside of you. If you feel bad inside of you, and if you feel that it's toxic, then step away from it. Okay, step away from it. You have the permission to do that. You might think, okay, well, I don't know how else I'm going to have this help that I need in order to make this change or to be able to facilitate this, this thing that I'm doing or to be able to navigate through this, whatever I'm going through. But what I'm saying here is, well, I know it sounds confusing because I'm saying ask for help, but don't be afraid to refuse that help if it doesn't sit well with you. Okay, you don't need to give up something or, or um, give up something that is true to you in order to be able to accept this help. All right, so um, that is the message. I know this is a kind of general message, but uh, the, what I'm about to say, but I want to say it anyway. Just be true to who you are with regard to this because that is going to tell you what's, what's right and what's not right. There might be a, a situation where you feel that, oh, I have to go along with this now because I've asked for this help, but it's not really where you want to go to. And I'm, I'm just saying, well, you don't need to do that. You can just take a step back, pause for a moment, regroup and decide where it is that you want to go to. Because things may be up in the air right now, or there may be things that are undetermined, um, you might be feeling insecure at this moment. It doesn't mean that you need to just settle for the next best thing. Okay, you need to settle for what it is that you truly desire and what you truly want. So wait, pause, take your time and then do this the way that you'd like to do it. All right, so I wish you all very well, and I hope that's been a helpful message to you. Thank you for coming by. So for those of you who've chosen this option here, the question we're asking is, what is it that we need to hear right now? What is our message as we go along in this week ahead? Okay, so I'm just gonna give these cards a shuffle. And we have a card here that I'm gonna go with, and it's called Creation. Okay, so you might have been coming out of um, a situation or out of a period which might be might have been turbulent and you might be in the calm after the storm as opposed to the calm before the storm and it feels to me here that you need to start at in the first step you need to go back to the drawing board and actually begin all over again so whether the storm has been something that you've been weathering over the last few weeks or the last few days, or whether it's something that's been going on for years in your life, what, what this is saying to you is go back to the drawing board and actually sit down with yourself and ask yourself what it is that I need to do right now. And one of the things I want to say here is that you might not be able to see further than the second or the third step, but this is not what's important right now. The, what is important is that you take the time to actually consider what it is, what is it that you want and where is it that you're headed to. Um, for some of you, might, this might feel like it's a retraction, like you're going backward, uh, like you are regressing, but it's actually not a regression here. What I'm seeing is that you have made the progress and you have moved forward. It's just that there are some things that need to be redone or some things that need to be taken care of, or you need to retrace certain steps. And that is okay. It's okay to do that. It's okay to actually go ahead and give yourself a moment to review the situation and take the steps that are necessary. Um, for some of you, this might mean that you don't really understand why you're doing this or what is actually going on or what, what it is that you need to do. But it feels like here that it's almost like you, you aren't really given a choice or you maybe you have many choices. Actually, the reality is that you have many choices, but it feels here that you don't really have a choice in terms of how you're going ahead. So um, I feel like also this message is so specific that it might not only apply to one of you. So if this doesn't resonate, then I ask you to please try one of the other options or try one of the other readings um, on a weekly oracle card guidances that I put up 
in the in the previous weeks. The thing here is that what you really need to do is actually just depend on your vision and your third eye. It's depending on that which you know already. It's it's being able to tap into a collective consciousness that has all the answers for you, which is at your avail, and being able to use that information from there. And actually realizing that where you are right now, what you have to do or where you're headed to right now, it's not so bad. So you might not really have much confidence in where you're headed to or how this is playing out, but it's actually okay. And you need to be able to accept that it's okay. All right. For some of you, there are there is a situation where everything is going according to plan and it seems fine and feels okay. And what, what they're saying here in terms of you, is that you need to be able to get still in touch with that part of you, which is your spirit and your th the information that your third eye has to give to you. And to be able to do this, you need to slow down or just stop rather. You, it might not be that you're moving too fast, but just to stop and to listen, uh, because this is going to bring you a lot more wisdom than you already have right now, or you think you have. So you might, it might be that things are going really well and you just, you know, you're just kind of wondering what am I talking about here? But what I'm hearing is that if you just stop and you listen to what's being said to you, you're going to understand something from a very different point of view. You're going to see things in a very different point of view. And this is going to be give you like somehow like a bird's eye perspective, because right now you're kind of too close to the situation to be able to really see what the reasoning is for it or how it came to be or what is or how it's going to play out. So come back to the drawing board is your main message here and start over. It doesn't mean that you've got to start with new things it might mean that you've got to go back and redo things and that's okay because this is where you need to be right now you need to be in that space where you're sitting still with stillness listening to a higher vision listening to what's coming from beyond you or from within you from a deeper place within you and not just your mind and actually being able to review and maybe taking some steps backward if you need to in order to be able to go forward ultimately so that is your message for those of you who've chosen this card here and for um, this option. I hope that's been useful for you and I hope that does actually resonate with you. And I thank you all for coming by today and for participating in this weekly oracle card guidance. I wish you a fabulous week ahead and may you all be well. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.